Do you ever feel like men and women are from two different planets? Like we speak different languages and don't understand each other at all? I'm Barbara DeAngelis, and coming up on my show, I'll reveal secrets that will help you get the man you love to open up next. understand you better than the men in your life. Any women ever feel this way? Yes? yes? All right. Men, how many of you feel like if the woman in your life would just stop trying to change you and make you over, you would give her more of what you want? Feel that way? Yeah. The truth is that men, he really does. The truth is men and women really are from different planets. We think differently. We communicate differently. And a lot of times those differences can drive us crazy in relationships. It doesn't have to be that day. We're going to give you some help today and find some solutions for communicating better with the opposite sex. All right, men, I want to ask you a question. And I know there's a lot of women here, but I want you to be honest. How many of you guys, you can raise your hands, think women talk too much? Raise your hands if you think women talk. <laughs> Look at these dirty looks the women are giving them. <laughs> Ladies, how many of you say, no, 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 that's not the problem. Men don't talk enough. You can't get them to open up. Anyone, anyone feel this way? Any ladies? Yes? She's leaping up. Wait a minute. Give her a microphone. She needs one. I sit down and I try to speak with my husband and, and we'll get into this while well, I talk and he listens. And then he gets like a dazed look across his face. <laughs> and, and that's about the extent of it. Getting him to talk to me is like, like pulling teeth. I just... When you say to him, honey, why don't you talk to me? Why don't you open up? What happens? He says, well, you know, he, he tries to get me to to explain to him what it is that he's supposed to talk to me about. Right. In other words, what do you want me to say, right? Anyone ever heard that? What do you want well, me to say? Right, All right. right, right. Any men? No? You don't like this? Barbara, why is it that like, some women seem like they have to tell me every detail of what goes on? You know, sometimes I come home at the end of the day. I say, how was your day? I just want to hear, you know, it was fine, honey, thank you. But instead, I get this, um, well, I walked out of the car, uh, on my way to the car today, I met Kelly, and you wouldn't believe what she's doing with her house, and she showed me this, and this, and, this, and on, and on, and on. I don't want to relive her day, I just want to know that it was okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can come home from work, I'm tired, I'm worn out. I Open the door, I've got books, papers, wallet, car keys, shoes, <laughs> breakfast, you know, partially, and I come in the door, and she meets me, and it's how sweet, I'm going to see you, give you a kiss, and then she follows me around. <laughs> These words, they're bubbling Wait a minute, up. wait a minute, wait a minute. We've heard from two men here. Are you his wife? Okay. See, I, yes, thank you, because, all right, what's, what's the deal? Well, he comes home, and I want to talk to him. I want to find out, honey, you know, how was your day? And get more than just, huh? Huh. And, and what he tells me, the reason he can't communicate, is he says he has a limit of how many words he can speak every day. <laughs> it's true. And he says that by the time he's come home, he's gone over his limit, so he doesn't have anything left to say. All right. I, I'm going to make some sense. Yes, I, I feel sorry for both of you. I'm, we will get to you. We're going to help you later. Let's make some sense of this, because really, no one's right and no one's wrong. Men and women are different. Men are what I call solution-oriented. That's the way their brain works. They like to process things internally. That's why when you say to a guy, is anything wrong, he'll say no. And inside, he's trying to figure out what it is. He likes to give you the bottom line. Men like to mull over things, right, guys? They like to mull it out. Women are different. We are process-oriented. We like to talk and think out loud about whatever is going on, right, guys? And we feel better doing that. But men don't understand that that's what's happening. Let me show you what men hate, and let me explain how we think out loud and it drives them crazy. I need a guy to be my guinea pig and volunteer. I promise I won't hurt you. Any guys want to? Yes, you're in the front row, so I'm going to pull on you here. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Keith. We have a microphone for Keith somewhere? Great. OK. Uh, I don't know if we're compatible. You're a little taller than I am, but we're going to try. <laughs> All right. We're going to talk about what happens when you wake up in the morning and you say to your wife, uh, what are you doing today? And I'm going to show you what we do, ladies, that drives men nuts, okay? So, 
You can already relate to this. All right. I didn't talk to her before the show. All right. Just say, darling. That's what you call your wife in the morning, guys. Darling, what are you going to do today? Darling, what are you going to do today? Well, um, I have to go to the market. Well, actually, I think what I should probably do is go to the market after I go to the cleaners, because I have a lot of clothes to take to the cleaners. You know, we have that, that party Saturday night, and I wanted to clean that suit of yours. So I thought maybe, I don't know, now that I think about it, I really should probably do that after lunch, because I want to work out first. And if I work out, I'm going to be a little sweaty, and I don't really want to go to the cleaner. Now, who's laughing and Thank you, honey. That was wonderful. Who, who's relating to that? Yes. All right. See, what I'm doing is I am literally expressing every thought I have. Now, ladies, we think that's normal, right? No problem. But men are trained to look for the solution and the bottom line. So one second into that, I've lost my husband, right? He, are, are you listening to me anymore? No. He's gone. He's out the door. I'm still talking. And the problem is that sometimes when you want to talk to a man, you need to realize that if he's not responding right away, it's not because he doesn't love you. He needs time to think it over. If there's a problem in the relationship and you say, let's talk about it, and he says, give me an hour or let me think about it, he really means let me think about it. He's not ignoring you. He's taking time to find the solution first. We don't mind finding it out loud, but that doesn't feel as good to a man. We have very different ways of doing things. OK, when we come back, we're going to talk about whether there is a right time and a wrong time to get a man to talk to you. So don't go away. More tips when we come up. <laughs> we're talking about the different ways men and women communicate. And we really are different. And what we're finding out is that men like things to be more specific. And sometimes as women, we get vague. And when we don't get the response we want from the man in our life, we think he's avoiding us. Men do like boundaries. They like to know the parameters. That lets them feel like they're more in control. But sometimes when we talk, you know how we kind of beat around the bish woman and we don't really express what we want? And guys feel like they have no idea what we're talking about. Any couples here? who fight about this in your relationship where you feel like you got your hands went right up. All right, who wants to go first? You'll go, OK, go ahead. Um, my husband says that he gets real intimidated when I say, I want to talk to you after the kids go to sleep. <laughs> wait, 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 stand up, stand up. All right, when she says that, what's the first thought that runs through your mind? I think to myself. What could it possibly be? What, what does she want to talk to me about? If it was about putting my, throwing my laundry in the basket, she would tell me right now. So it must be serious. So in other words, I'm in trouble. It Is that it, guys? Good. When a woman says, I want to talk to you, you think, I'm in trouble. I did something wrong. I'm going to get the talk, right? And it's going exactly. to go on all night long. Right. All right. right. But what are, you, what are you wanting? Do you want to? It are could you... be, I mean, when else can I talk to him except when the kids go to sleep? So it could be anything. So something about the way she's saying it is scaring you. Right. All right. right. That has to do with how, again, men like specific boundaries. They like to know the agenda. See, what we do sometimes, you know what, what men's most dreaded words are? I'm not kidding. I hear this all the time. Let's talk. <laughs> Am I right, guys? Let's talk. Because this is what goes through their minds. Let me, let me show you what we do, women. And, the right way to get a man to talk. Because really, guys do want to open up, don't you guys? They do. But there's a way to allow them to open up, and there's a way that kind of shuts them down, right? I need somebody who's going to be my guinea pig again and kind of role play with me. I'm going to show you the right way and the wrong way to do this. So have any guys sitting around who would like to come on down here? Yeah, hi. Come on up. What's your name? Michael. Michael. Let's give him a microphone. You're going to now be my relationship for one minute. So I hope we're having a nice relationship. Come on over here. All right. I'm going to, all you, you have no idea what we're doing. I know you're nervous. All we're going to do is just pretend we're in a relationship, and I'm going to pretend that maybe it's the end of the day, and just respond the way you normally would with a woman in your life if she said these words to you, OK? Honey, um, can we talk? What would you like to talk about? Well, you know, like about us. What about us? Oh, well, <laughs> You know, you never want to talk to me. You always do this. You shut down. It's impossible to get. What's the problem? The problem is I am being very vague. What does he want to know? He wants to know specifics as a man. He wants to know 
what the conversation's about. He wants to know the agenda. He wants to know what I want from him. And he also wants to know how long it's going to take. Right, guys? Because <laughs> men have this fear that it's going to go on forever. Here is the right way to get your partner to talk. Okay. Honey, um, when the kids go to sleep tonight, could we sit down maybe for about 15 minutes? I know your parents are coming this weekend, and last time they came, we had a lot of problems with deciding where to go and where to eat. So if we could just spend 15 minutes talking about what we're going to do on Sunday, and I could kind of get your imp input about what you'd like to do, I'd feel so much better when they showed up. Could we do that? Sure. You're such a sweet guy. <laughs> See the difference? Thank you. You can put that down. You see the difference? See, the difference is I'm asking for what I want, ladies. I'm saying I need to talk about this, and it probably will take this amount of time. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why do we have to do that? Because it makes him comfortable, and it's worth it, all right? Any men relate to this that it's hard sometimes when you're talking to a woman to have her be specific or that you feel like you kind of have to read her mind or anything like that? Yes? I think it's real interesting because a lot of times my wife and I get in, she wants to talk. She approaches me in that same fashion and she says something like, I'd like to talk. And then I, I start freaking out saying, oh, oh now we're going to have to talk. And I want to know, <laughs> well, it's... it's well, what's so bad? Because, what's so bad about talking? Because, because women have a tendency to be very vague and they talk emotionally. And, and you want to be very explicit and want it to be direct. So and, you want to know what the problem is and what you're expected to do. Right, exactly. Right. Now, you see, here's the other point, ladies, is that we like to talk about something that's bothering us, and we don't particularly care if we find a solution. Have you ever come home at the end of the day, you're upset, right? You're upset, and you're just saying, oh, I don't know what to do. Susan at work is driving me crazy, and you know, I don't know if I should take the kids next week or this week. And you're going on, and your husband starts saying, all right, let's see. Let's make a list. Let's figure out what to do. Sit down. Don't panic, right? And you're thinking, why are you telling me what to do? I'm just talking. And he's thinking, well, why are you, right? Why are you talking to me? What we're doing is just getting out our feelings. It's called emoting. And you know what? We don't really need a solution from you. So one thing you can do if you're feeling that way is you can say to a man, you know what? I need five minutes to just unload. And I don't need you to solve it. I just need you to maybe hold me or say, it's going to be OK, honey. But tell him what you expect. Because if you start unloading like that, a man is going to think, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to fix it. And I'm not sure how to do that. That's what really goes on. Yeah, OK, we've got to hear the other side. This is his wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I just wanted to say that men think they have to fix everything. That is one thing. If I just want to be validated with sharing an emotion or sharing a, a feeling of mine, it always seems to have to be fixed. And then it gets, that's when we get into trouble. But see, that's because from the time men are little boys, they are taught that they're supposed to fix things. They're supposed to have an answer for things. We're not taught that as women. We're taught that we're supposed to make people feel good. But little boys, what did you do? What did you accomplish? So we're not going to be able to change that conditioning. But what we can do is we can help men understand that what we need from them is their love and their support. But we don't always need solutions. Right, ladies? Sometimes don't you just want a hug? You want somebody to be there for you and make you feel good? All right. When we come back, we're going to be answering some questions from the audience and hearing some success stories from people and giving you more advice. Don't go away. We're talking about men and women in the very different ways we communicate. And we are finding some solutions, aren't we? We're actually finding that there are ways to learn to understand each other. I know some of you have some questions, so let's take some time and see if we can give you some specific help for some of the things going on. Uh, yeah, let's go to you guys first. Barbara, how can I get my um, husband to communicate with me? <laughs> Don't you love um, this? How can I get my husband? <laughs> go ahead. He comes home from work, especially. He, he's stressed out. Um, I want to talk to him, make him feel comfortable. And he doesn't want to spend any time with me. So what can I do to communicate with him? OK, just, we just need to hear from him for one second, all right? Grab that mic from her. So you come home. You had a hard day. She wants to talk to you. What do you need right then? How are you feeling? I'm, as she said, stressed out from the day. And I normally like 30 minutes or so to kind of kick back and relax and make that transition from my work mode to my family mode. Okay. And so 
What's the problem with giving him time? Are you afraid if he takes that time, he is never going to fit you in? It's going to be 30 minutes, an hour, two hours? No, it's just that I want to maybe spend a few minutes saying, this is what I did today. Um, how was your day? OK. Just a few minutes. What about, no. what about this? Yeah, right. He's saying it's going to be a few minutes, and soon it's going to be hours. Here's the compromise, and you might want to try this, all right? She needs some connection. That's what I hear. She really doesn't want to tell you the details. She wants to just go, you're home. I'm so excited to see you. He needs some rest time. You can do both. What about when you first come in, sitting down five minutes, but no real talking, no problems, just cuddling, holding each other, maybe a little neck massage. He likes that one. And you get to know that he's there with you. Then he gets to cool out, take a shower, exercise, or whatever. And then the conversation can happen later in the evening. But you get at least five minutes of just kind of holding each other, sitting down together, you know, read the paper, watch TV, anything, as long as you're just together. Will you be willing to try that? Is that OK? Yeah. See, he's willing to do it. You got it. All right, thank you. Who else? Anyone else have some questions? There are other questions here. Yeah, hi. Barbara, what do you do in a case? Um, my husband and I, when we're having a discussion or an argument, um, he tends to reach his limit before, um, and the discussion's supposed to end before <laughs> I've reached what I think is the termination point, And it's led to a lot of arguments and discussions that point itself. I hear a lot of guilty laughter behind me over here. <laughs> so you haven't really gotten some satisfaction yet. And he says, like, OK, I've talked to you. It's over. I need out of here now. All right. Two things. One, being more specific so you get to that point, that boiling point, more quickly so that you really work out before you talk to him what's really bothering me. So he doesn't have to listen to the whole process. And secondly, and this is for guys, any guys, Yes, there are times when guys do reach their limit. They need time to integrate the information. They want to take an hour, or maybe even overnight, to put it together and figure it out. So when that happens, don't just say, look, honey, I don't want to talk about it right now, or I'm tired, or this is going to go on and on all night long. Do say, I need some time to think about what we've talked about. I want to finish this with you. Can we talk again tomorrow night? In other words, tell your wife or your girlfriend, what you need. And women don't say, no, we have to deal with it right now, because he's probably being very honest and saying that he really needs that time to figure out what he's feeling. Men just process information differently from the way we do. Yeah, hi. I, I kind of have a different idea about that. I think that women are very specific. Men just don't understand it. You will tell them, ex no, you will tell them exactly this and this and this is what's wrong, and they'll say, what's really wrong? Okay? And that's why it takes so long talking to them, because you're completely going in the circle. No, this is really what's the matter. Oh, I know, you know, you're saying that, but it's really not what's the matter, what is really the matter. Okay? So they get worn out before you could really get to them what is what you're talk starting to talk about in the very first Do we place. wear you out, guys? Is that how you feel, that we're wearing you out? Again, part of the problem comes from sometimes when we aren't specific. And it is very scary, as you've heard, to men to hear that we have something that we are not happy with. See, when you say to a woman, I'm not happy with what's going on in the relationship, we say, what can we do to improve? When you say to a man, I'm not happy with something, they feel we're saying, you're wrong, you're bad, you failed me. So getting to that point in a relationship where you trust each other enough to listen to the feedback is something that takes some time. But remember, and I'm going to sum up these tips for you. Men are solution-oriented. So give them that time to mull things over. Don't pressure them into a response right away, all right? The other thing is they need specifics. They need the focus for the conversation, just like you heard here. Even if you say, honey, I'd like to cuddle. The other thing is, ladies, if you're upset and you're just talking, 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 he's going to think he has to fix you. So let him know, I just want a hug. I want you to be here for me. And guys, please don't just shut us out if we're talking too much and just pull the paper up or turn the TV on. Say, you know what? I want to be here for you. I'm not in a great mood now. Maybe after dinner, I'll feel better. That's more important. All right, we're going to come back and give you some more advice on communicating with your mates. Don't go away. <laughs> communicating with your partners, feel a little better about it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so too. All right.
I want to put somebody on the spot. Where are these guys? You guys. You guys. Right? Would you stand up for a minute? She was complaining before about feeling like she's not getting that comfort and all that stuff. You're feeling like you maybe have some ideas now? Yeah, this really helped a lot because I, I just know I have to just shut up a little bit more <laughs> and just say hold me and, and just be here. Right. Are and you not... willing to do that for her? Sure. All right. Just give her, give her a hug now to practice. That would really be great. <laughs> Part of being in love is taking time to understand how your partner thinks and how your partner feels. I hope these suggestions have been helpful. Put them to practice tonight. Don't wait. You'll be amazed at how a few simple changes can really improve your relationship. I'm Barbara DeAngelis. Thank you so much for starting your day with me. I'll be back tomorrow. I hope you join me then. A promotional fee and audience gifts provided by Astral Crystal. Perfume tray, perfume bottle, and powder box in full lead crystal. Brilliant diamond design, all completely hand cut and blown from Astral Crystal. Hatteras Hammocks, unique two-seater double porch or garden swing. Hand-woven cotton rope, solid oak frame promise many relaxing hours from Hatteras Hammocks.